Hey everybody, I'm here in the Walmart parking lot to respond to two videos that I watched here. Uh, one of the videos was by Groovy Lisa, and another one was by Maca Mania, aka Richard Dolan. And uh, they made videos talking about how people think they're too highfalutin and too special to go to Walmart, and how they're always belittling people who shop at Walmart. Okay, so. Rather than do the video right here in the parking lot, I'm going to retreat to the safety of my car. Okay, so let me tell you how it turns out that I'm making this video. It's a Sunday morning, it's 8.30 a.m., and I'm hanging out here in the Walmart parking lot. It just so happens that I watched Richard Dolan's video and Groovy Lisa, who I think really started this, uh, Lisa, and... Um, my girlfriend, she does Christmas shopping every year, and she tries to get it done early, and she likes to shop here at Walmart for certain items, because they have what she wants at an affordable price. And after this, she's going to go to JCPenney. So there's certain things she likes at Penny's, there's certain things she likes at Walmart. And, and the, the topic of this, why Lisa started this, is because people in the vinyl community tend to look down on people who have been Taking advantage of a sale that I, I'm now understanding is at Walmart. I, I didn't know about it. It was a $15 vinyl sale, albums for 15 bucks. And these days, new vinyl is so expensive. Who can blame anybody for wanting to get a deal and save a few bucks? Is anybody really rich around here these days in the vinyl community? Well... The thing is, from what I understand, I don't know all the details, and by watching Lisa and then Richard's videos, I started to get some feel for it. Uh, you know, there's a thing going on in, in, the, in the VC, the vinyl community, if you will, where people are kind of snobby about certain things. You know, you don't shop at certain stores. Uh, you don't collect CDs. You only collect records. And we could go on forever uh, as far as the snobbery that goes on in the VC from time to time. And uh, I'm going to save that for a, a separate VC video that I'll make down the line. But I'll give you a little bit of a detail here. You know, I've been doing this stuff here, making videos for eight and a half years. And I admit that when I first began making videos, the idea was that I wanted to join the vinyl community, or the VC for short. And uh, the first words I, I said, if you want to look at my first video from 2012, was I said, I want to say something that I've been meaning to say for a long time, and that's, hello, vinyl community. Because that was the major draw of videos. But long ago, years ago, years and years ago, I decided that I would expand my video channel, not just to vinyl, it's other stuff too. So, so my videos are not just vinyl community videos, and quite frankly, I don't understand when people start their videos. No offense to anybody, because it's so easy to offend people, but when people start videos and they say, Hey VC, I always think to myself, what if somebody's watching your video and they don't know what VC means, or what if they're not members of the VC? That's why I, I tend to start my video saying, hello, everyone. Uh, a long time ago, I decided to consider myself a YouTuber. I am not a VCer. I am not a vinyl community guy. I am a YouTuber. I make YouTube videos. All right. So I could say hello, YouTubers, or just better yet, hello, everyone. But let's get more to the point of this about Walmart. Walmart is not my favorite place to shop. I'm not going to pretend here that all of a sudden I'm this big Walmart fan, uh, that I don't bash Walmart now and then. Generally speaking, I don't like Walmart very much because when you go into Walmart, at least the Walmarts where I am, they're very crowded, they're very insane, people are really like uh, kind of rude and inconsiderate. And every time I go there, I feel like I'm on another planet. I feel like it's not even Earth. I don't know what planet I'm on, but I always feel uncomfortable in Walmart, okay? So Walmart has never been my store of choice to shop in. However, I don't consider myself too good for Walmart. Oh, I'm too good. I'm better than that. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a special person, you know? Lisa, Groovy Lisa said something in her video, something like, you know, you're not too good for Walmart, you know? And I love that she said that because a lot of people think they are, especially the VC uh, snobs, you know. Uh, they think, if I'm going to buy my records or anything else, whatever it might be, I'm going to buy them at the real record store. I'm going to go into a, a real place. I'm not going to go to Walmart. Who cares if you're getting a deal, all right? Now, I know there's a little more to this. 
A lot of people think, well, the idea is the reason they're against Walmart and other big stores is because they want to support their local, small, tiny mom and pop record shops. And I get that. I'm a fan. I have you, you see my videos. I have a, a record store, my local uh, brick and mortar, independently owned small record store. Of course, I believe in supporting them. But I also believe in supporting myself. And, and if... A new album comes out, and it's $35 at one of these record stores, but Walmart is having a $15 sale. I'll go to Walmart. I don't really give a rat's patootie where the heck I get my records as long as I get a deal, you know? For the most part, I do support my, my record stores. I want them to flourish. I want them to continue. So for the most part, yes, I do support those record stores, but... No way am I going to give up a good sale just because I'm not going to go into Walmart. Uh, you know, I'm, 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 I'm ahead of Walmart. I'm, I'm above Walmart. No way. So I, I understand. I sympathize with those people. Hey, you know what? I'm going to go wherever it is. I don't care whether it's Walmart. I don't care whether it's uh, Target. I don't care whether it's, uh, you know, uh, Uncle Horatio's uh, dollar deals. I don't care where it is. As long as I can go to a place and I can get a good deal, I'm going. But you'll note, like we did today, if I'm going to go to Walmart, I will strategically choose an early time. I'd like to go like 9 in the morning, 8 in the morning, and avoid crowds. you got to be insane to go into Walmart at 2 p.m. On a, on, a, on a Saturday or Sunday. All right? So, uh, you know, I, I understand the Walmart uh, resistance in some cases. But overall, I'm just addressing the one issue here. It doesn't make you a bad person. It doesn't make you a fool or stupid or anything uh, if you decide that you want to save a few bucks because Walmart is having a sale. Uh, I buy shirts here. I buy pants here. I go to Target. I go, you know, I'd rather do my clothes shopping here than a lot of times or Target or some similar cheaper place rather than going to the big name stores, okay? Because I can't see paying $100 or $70 for a pair of pants or a shirt where you can pay 20 bucks or, or less. I, I don't see it, but that's just me. All right, everybody. Rant over. It's kind of a mild rant. Take care, everybody. Shop where the hell you want to shop. Later.